Hey there, Christopher here with a quick update before this week's episode. I just wanted to let you all know that we have a website at theworldstandard.com. That's all three words squished into one, dot com. The link is in the episode's description. Head on over and check out some behind-the-scenes content, some insight into each of our story arcs, as well as exclusive artwork done by us. While you're there, feel free to sign up for a monthly newsletter, The Standard News, where we run down what we are doing each month, including a release schedule and what we are recording and planning to record, as well as anything else we feel our listeners should know. Also, since I have you here, feel free to help us make this podcast continue to grow by donating through Anchor. The link, as always, is in the description and is available on our website by clicking the Donate button at the top of the page or at the bottom of the drop-down menu if you're visiting the site on your mobile device. We want to do more with the world standard, and in order for us to do that, we need the show to bring in a little security. I'm sure you understand, and if you feel like that is something you would be interested in doing, we would greatly appreciate it. We have big things planned for the future, and we can't wait to show you. With that out of the way, enjoy the episode, and uh, I guess, uh, don't sniff glue? Yeah! And welcome back to the Rolled Standard. I am your game master for Starfinder. As we continue playing We're No Heroes, I am, of course, joined by Christopher, and I am playing Dr. Kaldar Zemo, Don Vianor of Clan 10. Okay, Doc. Hi, I'm, I'm Levi. I play Glenn. <laughs> I'm Glenn. Jake here again, and I play Volcor 316, but you can call me three. They'll, I'm sure they will. <laughs> Nobody will. <laughs> okay. Watch, watch out. Watch out. He's going to crush them puss. Oh, God. Last we left off, you guys were transporting a uh, large shipment of yarrow berries, and we're caught in the middle of traffic in a fight. Eventually, what was a fight with a junk bot. And after it was all said and done and the literal smoke had cleared... You turned around to find three space goblins uh, making off with loot on the back of your um, transport. One noticed you and turned towards you guys with a semi-auto pistol, and the other two seemed to try and hurry their actions to uh, keep unloading shit off of the back of your whip. I'd stop what you're doing if I were you. Um, we're staying in initiative here. That would be Glenn first. Oh, Glenn. Do some cool stuff. Save my moon cabbage, buddy. Um, can can I roll a uh, a perception check to see exactly how many are, are these crates? Are they yeah. boxes? Yeah, they're 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 crates. They're, I mean, like you'd have to imagine that they're small enough for small goblin arms to pick up and go. I I I don't know why I'm thinking maybe like. Because I can't imagine a goblin carrying that big of a crate. Exactly, yeah. So it's yeah, a bunch of very small few, crates. I mean, 30 tons. Maybe we can let them get away with some. Maybe they're starving goblins. It's 50 tons. Yeah, of let's say berries. 50 tons. Yeah. Oh, so even more tons? <laughs> I mean, this is on the back. Crates. This is, yeah, this is like... Are these goblins just jacked? No, I mean, these are just... Uh, you have like a flatbed truck. Yeah. I, I want to roll a perception. Or like check not a flatbed see. truck. Uh, ridiculous. Like, like a hovering cart thing. You know, you have more than that. Truck. It's like a hover... No. No? It's like a hover semi. Oh, cool. Ah! But open? Um, here, here. Um, just for you guys in the in in real time here, I will show you a Ooh. picture hover semi. of what it looks like. Because this is a whole different fucking idea of what you guys have oh, been looking at, I'm sure. Like a train. Oh, it's just like a big trailer. <clears throat> ah, that clarifies everything. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to roll a perception check to see how many of these crates they have. Go for it. That is your action, though. Oh, yeah, I forgot we play D&D. Yes, we do. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, no, we don't. We play Starfinder. <laughs> we used to. Then we learned. <laughs> no we hate. got better. No well, hate. fuck that. I am going to uh, run after... Or I'm going to pull out my semi-auto pistol and shoot at the goblin that's pointing one at me. Okay, that's your move action to pull that out. Yep. So... Um, you are, yes, and because you, especially because you ran back, you literally dashed back to the vehicle. You are within range here. Uh, if you hadn't, you definitely would not have been. So um, you can go ahead and take a shot at that goblin that's got the pistol up there. Or one of the other two if you want to try that too. They're further back. They have partial cover. 
I'm, I'm going for that uh, the headshot. Okay. <laughs> That's a nine. A nine. Wait, yeah, because I add that with my dex modifier, right? Yeah. Uh, it should say to hit like for your ranged attacks down there somewhere. Yeah, it's a plus one. Yeah, plus one. That's a nine. A nine that does miss, sir. Ooh. If there's anything you can do with a bonus action, then you can surely try. But otherwise, uh, that may be the end for your turn, sir. It is done. Okay. V. I mean three. I literally wrote it down oh, as V. Oh. Uh, there are too many numbers. I didn't want to just lose your <laughs> name if I just wrote three. So this tactical spear, I uh, I threw it last time. Yeah, through the um, robot that exploded. Yeah. Do I have it back, or do I need to pick this up? Uh, you'd have to pick it up. It is like if you're thinking about it locationally, you are between the goblins and it. You could go pick it up and make it partially the way back, but. I don't think you have the range what to does throw my, it. What does my moat give me for attack? Like, if I were to use that hard shield that I can generate as a weapon, what would that be? Would that still be considered plus three to my melee? Yeah? It would be... Hmm. I'm about to Captain America if you, if, these guys. If you're going to try and throw it at them? No, no, no. I'm going to oh, get does into it go range. up and punch them in the face with it? Yeah. Um, Is this a weird question? No, it's more so that... I. I really don't think that you have the same range. Both of these no, guys. No, I'm going to try to get close and do this. I know. You got 30 feet, and I don't think you can get close enough to hit this motherfucker with it. I'm asking, so in the future, I don't have to ask another question. If I were to do it, yes. though, would it be the plus three? Yes. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Gotcha. So I will have to use whatever action to either get the spear or run up to these guys, and if I'm in between them, I'm just going to run up and get in close range with them. Yeah, you can dash up there if you want to do that. But there if are, I can't hit him, I think that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Do you want to be up in range with this dude with the gun on top or the ones that are unloading stuff? The ones that are unloading. Okay. My moon cabbage. Yeah, you can get right up next to one of them there, but that's everything you got for now. Uh, that brings us to Doc. Okay, how far away from these guys am I? You are, um, I'd say, around the same place that uh, Glenn was near the front of the vehicle since you didn't really move up too far. Okay. Um. Especially because you're the one that clocked them walking back towards True. the... Am I within 30 feet of them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. I'm going to load a proprietary blend into my needler pistol, uh, this glowing green syringe. I just pop into it. That sounds amazing. And I'm going to launch it at him. Do it, sir. What does it do? It's a 10. That is a 10. I'm going to get the one with the gun, by the way. Okay. Actually, no. I think I'm going to do it to one of the guys that's, that's, um, that's trying to steal shit. If you wish. Because he's currently engaged with... Glenn, so I don't not necessarily need to worry about him. And then who was Volcor initi- or engaging with? With one of the other, or another one of them with okay, crates. I'll take the last dude. Then. Okay. Um, regardless, that would miss. Okay. Anyway, uh, those guys, just like I had said earlier, they're, they're going to have a little bit of higher AC because they have partial cover. That makes sense. Okay, so oh, I know who's that, everybody's engaged that with. Being the question, that being the state then, because I, I would have noticed that. Yes. Is there a way I can move to prevent the cover? Or to move around. Yes. Okay. Can I yes. just can I do that and then that, just leave my role as, as is? Yes, then? absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you can you can, you can can move out a little bit so that you can okay. um, avoid the cover, for sure. Okay, that's a question I'll ask going forward then. Absolutely. Like, asking cover state before I take shots. Perfect. So does that hit with that then? No, it does okay, not. That, okay. that missed just the normal AC, just just by a little bit. Okay, very good. Um, that's my turn then. Okay, it is down to their turn now. The two goblins with crates are going to take a full action and dump their third crate onto the back of their vehicles, and that's what they're going to do for their full action. The other one is going to take a shot at Big Hoss, since you were shooting at him up there. Glenn, no! Not the face! My <laughs> moneymaker! <laughs> God, triangle Not face! Not my face! <laughs> that is an absolute miss, sir, right off the bat. That's his only shot there, and uh, he's going to use his movement to... Get back onto his bike, and that's as far as he can make it. So all three of them are rearing and ready. Is it one bike, or they, they all three. have their own There's bikes? There's three hover bikes. Mm. And you can see that like just from the shape of them and their size, that the most that they could fit on here is three crates at a time. Uh, obviously, the two of them that were taking off the crates for their action have three of them on each bike, and the other one has two. And um, so they have eight total. Yes. Okay. And they're getting ready to... Rip. 
How far away are they from me? Uh, you're close to 30 feet away. Are they small hover bikes? Um, I don't know, medium sized, I guess. Like, I, you would feel uncomfortable on it, I guess, but you could technically ride it if you wanted to. Okay, because I would like to run up to them and spear one of the goblins into the other bikes. Like, literally, wait, oh, like, like tackle them? Yeah, like, oh, I, edge, he has a spear, so I thought literal like, like spear. Like the edge from WWE. No. <laughs> For spear. sure. It's just edge. The edge. The edge was a guitarist. It was declarative. <laughs> Like the Edge does. <laughs> like Edge All does right. in the WWE. That okay. sounds weird. Go for it, yeah. He does, but it is. Go for it. Okay. Uh, 19? Oh, fuck, yeah. That, that's a, that's a, wait a minute. That's a. Uh, that's too many numbers, man. No, no, that's a, that's a combat maneuver, which still hits anyway. Well, yeah, like, do you want acrobatics, athletics, or? No, 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 no. It, it's more so about their armor class, more okay. than what you're doing which is fine you got it you're you're good oh jesus christ um i'm basically just trying to knock them all off the bikes by you know like like domino effect like ting 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 sure uh hover bikes yeah but i mean are they always constantly hovering or this this time around yes they definitely are but I think that doesn't change running. the fact that during the heist i would you, leave my vehicle running as soon as this yeah <laughs> Most as, death. as soon as this dude is um he loads up this last crate, he gets it half strapped down, and you tackle this motherfucker into his hover bike. And um Here just roll me a D6. Daddy. Yeah, just roll me a D6 plus your strength. Or or wait, wait, wait. Your your what is your offhand attack? Oh, my unarmed? Because you're a Vesk. Is it a D4 or a D2 or something? A D3? Uh, a one D3. Okay, then it's a D6 cut in half plus your strength. Uh so uh, a four. Four damage to this dude, okay. You do four damage to this dude as you smash him in between your body and this hover bike. Uh -huh. And this one, um, you know, you know, like almost how like magnets work when you're. Yeah, they're like. Vroom. How do yeah. magnets work? No, no, no. Like, it, I was thinking about you know freezing a magnet, uh, freezing metal over a magnet. Like you can like lock something in place with that. Megalock. It's kind of that's kind of how it seems when you're on like a hover, a hover vehicle. So when you hit this dude. You tackle him down, and his bike goes over that tipping point, I guess. Yes. And crashes down on the side. You crash into the ground with this goblin, and um, two of those three crates are... Wait. All three of those crates are crushed on the ground. Mm, good. Him and you and the berries on the ground hover bike on his side. Just covered in berry juice. Just berry <laughs> juice. Ooh, it's so sticky. Beautiful. Is that everything you got, my friend? Uh, that motherfucker is... <laughs> hurt <laughs> oh, would this be like a cleave action as my feet Cause oh I god did, i did get uh no you would have to really go out of okay. your way to actually okay. cleave some yeah, shit I'm there friend you know, you're good just, it's all right you know, it's all right i got this feet <laughs> three how about you friend well since we're just destroying the shit now um i will jump at the one i was current or er, was currently pursuing and shield bash it with my moat okay you're you're well within your rights to do so because he is laying straight on the fucking ground. Oh, it's the same guy. Yes, it is. He's coming from the same side oh, as you. Oh fuck! Are. No, I'm going. You I, can go over. I want to go over him and get the other one with the three. The you other got, three crates. You got bike. the movement to be able to do that. Sweet. Let's t show me the way. Yeah. Uh, roll up for it, brother. Which one? Do you want this one? Yeah. I'm the new guy. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Right. D twenty. Oh fuck! It's three. No. No, plus, sir. Plus what? You Can come I in. Save it? <laughs> you come in going for one of those fucking Captain America fucking back swings, and this dude just ducks or this dude just leans right backwards, and you can just <laughs> like barely clicks the end of his pointy goblin nose. This is the game I'm gonna suck at. Hey man, it's all about the rolls, friend. Is that everything? I mean, what else can I do other than look pathetic? Um. You can just stay there and look pathetic. That's fine. Uh, he's 300-year-old fucking sex bot. Leave him be. <laughs> oh, Doc. Guess what? That's canon. <laughs> I'm going to uh, jump up onto these boxes. I'm going right. to climb up onto the... Step up onto the yeah, boxes go for it. to get a good line of sight on these dudes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to try the same thing I tried before. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, same dude. Dude with the gun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, give me a give me a visual on these three dudes. Uh, three. If you're climbing up on the boxes, there's a goblin... That is, he was about to jump into the onto the middle, or he did just jump onto the middle bike. Okay, and he was the dude that's actually like 
pistol pulled, armed yeah. in the middle. He went for the dude on the left from like if you're looking down the backside. He goes for the dude from the left, and he just tackled the dude on the right into the middle, dude. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the uh, the guy that had the gun. Okay, that's the dude straight in the middle. Okay. That's a 15. Oh plus yeah. Three for an 18. That'll fucking touch, sir. Okay, so it's going to do three piercing damage. Okay. And he is. Um, I gave him my toxicology inhibitor, uh, so I delivered a weak toxin into his body imparting the sickened condition. Ooh, sickened. Yep. Which is... You're so good with the book. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know. You, you, I remember you saying you wanted to do... Or you're like, hey, I can do this if you want, and I'm fucking glad that you did. Um, the sickened is uh, you take a minus two penalty to attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and ability checks. Shoo! So he's toxins in him. Perfect. That's awesome. And that is my last um, syringe, as far as uh, my special syringes. Okay. I just launch blank needles at this point. Okay, both both uh, those two dudes. Same brother. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't know. Both those while. two dudes do not look mm-hmm. very happy with the state that they're blank in right needles. now. Blank needles. Oh, you're diabetic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a doctor. <laughs> okay, so on their turn, they are going to attempt to flee. Now, there's the one on the ground that really doesn't have the opportunity to do so. So he is going to try to pretty much hit you. Just mm-hmm. that's, a, that's the best this little man can do. Just punch Subdue him, him Courtney. <laughs> hit me, daddy. He's oh. a dickless traitor. Okay, he's going to try. Not very good at it. It's your highness. Ooh, that's a Sorry. 13 to hit. Uh, what, what am I? Uh... Your cac. My what? In the cac. My cac? Yeah. It's, I have a 15. Oh, he, he has this... Big, just gnarly, I mean, big to him, but this gnarly, just fucked up sword. And he goes to hit you with it, and it literally just, like, it hits you, but it does, like, nothing. He's just got little tiny twig arms. I remember and when he's just I panicking. was that small. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a child. When I was a wee lad. Uh, he hits you, and it does nothing to you. He's just this terrified little creature. Um, the other two are going to try and dip. You have a chance for an attack of opportunity on the dude that you're next to. The dude in the middle is going with his two boxes. I'm going to intimidate him <laughs> to leave the the car the crates behind. Uh, well, those crates are like strapped on the thing, so he'd have to like literally just jump off I'm, of his. I'm okay, do, I'm gonna do it. Giving him a chance for his life. Come Go on, for it, Daddy intimidation, 20. man. Come on, so Daddy three's looking up at him and. <laughs> And uh, now do I got to roll? Oh, how do we do this well, now? Do I narrate it first? He, well, he's what? giving you the opportunity to do a reaction. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's the, only an attack. Yeah, you're right. Now that, now that you say it. Yep, never mind. Uh, reaction uh, as a reaction, because it would take an actual action to intimidate. Oh, fucking boo. Yeah, now, yeah, hey, man, I can't be the... like, hey, guys, stop, and then you, have them turn at me. You All right. can, but you can well, say that, but. Uh, no, because it won't mean anything if we're doing it by the rule Exactly. Book. You're, it, it'll fucking mean. whatever. I'll uh, try to clobber him with my goddamn targe. Oh, that clobbers. plus nothing? I can't. It's 15 plus 3. Yeah, so 18. Absolutely, friend. That, that'll that touch. And then uh, your damage is 1d6 plus strength, because that's how your um, Solarian weapons work. Is it? Yep. You would know, wouldn't yep. you? Yep. Which one? Oh, fuck. Okay, one. One plus three. your strength modifier, two. Three. three damages. Gross. All three of these guys are not looking very fucking great about it. Well, I it. mean, they're children. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you bash this dude in the back of the head as soon as he starts speeding off down the roads. The old dusty trail. And um, that brings us back up to Glenn. What you doing, Glenn? Um, so I'm, I am on the ground with this, this mad lad right now currently, correct? Yep. Yeah. Cuddling. One guy is driving straight forward. That was the middle guy. And the left guy is where? Also driving forward? Yes. Then I would like to... I mean, technically because of your placement, you could have had a reaction to attack the middle dude, but it would be at a penalty. 
because you're on the ground. Um, so you can do that too if you wish. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, because the other dude just attacked you. You didn't do anything in retaliation. You can do that to the middle dude if you wish to do so. Just don't knock over these crates. Well, I wanted to. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I. If well, you can do I that, touch. and then you'll have everything back on the at the beginning of your yes. turn here anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna see if I touch. Well, go for it. Uh, oh boy. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. That uh, just touches. Ooh, <laughs> and that's with an unarmed attack because I don't have my doshka. All right, go for it. And so, what's a half of three? One point five. Two. 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 We round up? Yep. Okay. That's uh, two damage? Two damage in total? Unless I add anything. Uh, you add your strength. And then that's uh, three. Uh, that's uh, five damage. Five damage? Yeah. That's still... Fucking tell me. <laughs> take, take this. Ha-ha. Right. Right. Chop. Hey, man, I'll give you it. Fucking tell me how you do it, friend. From the ground with this other goblin feebly attacking you. <laughs> Just a oh. child. No! <laughs> How I, how I touch? Yeah, well, yeah. You, I, I you imagine... fucking you slayed him, brother. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I imagine it was like a judo chop style. <laughs> Getting you know, up off just... the ground while this other dude but, no, hits while, you. While, yeah, like kind of like I brace my my right hand on his face, and then I just kind of judo chop in the gut. And it's just that triangle <laughs> grin face and blood smearing across his face as it happens. Yeah. It's... Um. You you judo chop this dude in the face, and you have no idea. You, you had no idea that these things actually weigh like 13 pounds. And you judo chop him. Oh, and no, it wasn't I cracked even, his spine in no, <laughs> you, you judo chop him off the, hollow, or the hover bike. And he, and he slowly arcs back and smashes the back of his head on the back of mm. your vehicle. And just Good. hits the ground. Good. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of murder. Yeah. I think you killed him there, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, now it's actually your turn. Oh. Um, the, the this other dude's trying up. to speed away. I'm, I'm going to shoot shoot at uh, the other guy driving away. Okay. Give me a shooter. Just a little shooter. Uh, that's a 20. Dirty 20. Holy fuck. Yeah, that'll touch, brother. Ooh. Right in the chest. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then what, what do I add for a modifier for pistols? Um, Nothing? It's just straight 1d6? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. It's just a bullet. That's right. That's a one. One damage to <laughs> the back of this boy. One little peepee touch. <laughs> oh. You nicked All right. him. Yeah, well, you barely touch. nicked him, but he's uh, frantically trying to make his way through traffic behind you guys. Does Cleave work with guns? No. Okay. So only melee. Yes. All right. Just, just so I know. Absolutely. What did you pick for your fighting is it, style? Is it my turn? Oh, I never picked a fighting style. It's your turn. Three. Okay. What's happening with the one that I clobbered? Uh, he's the one that's actually making it away. The other two are either on the ground or dead. Is there a bike that I can get on and chase? give chase? Y- you absolutely could on the bike that he karate chopped a dude off of. <laughs> take that! <laughs> okay, uh, thanks, Glenn. I'm going to take this for a little rip skis, get our boxes back. I'll see you in a few. Don't worry, I'll put this moon cabbage in his other crates. Uh, that's my buddy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of those was a uh, one of those was a moon cabbage crate. The other two were yarrow berries. Mm. They didn't know that. I didn't. Of course they didn't. Okay. This is why you, you go ahead. The crates. You uh, go ahead. Jump on this thing. Uh, give me a piloting check. Oh fuck! I'm not good at that stuff. Can I give you an engineering? Um, <laughs> Damn. No. Okay. Not not when it comes to <laughs> not when it comes to moving a vehicle. It's a ten. That's a ten. Straight up. That's not bad. Uh, it's not good. It's not bad. I mean, it's more so about whether or not you're good enough to weave through or get stuck behind, and you're pretty much just keeping just out for a Sunday drive. <laughs> you're 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 keeping the pace that at least you hoped you would. Perfect. So that's that for now. Just like real life, <laughs> Doc. Okay, so one of them is making it away. One of them is dead, and the other one is on the ground. Okay, right underneath Glenn here. Um, the dead body. I want to check him for a gun. Oh, yeah, absolutely, friend. Uh, that is an easy thing to let you know. This guy on him has a tattered flight suit, a dog slicer, a tactical semi-auto pistol. I'm going to take that. Yeah, of course, with nine small arm rounds. Okay. A goblin junk cycle. That's what you guys are. That's what you jumped on. I'm keeping it, too. <laughs> 
and a cred stick worth 50 credits. I'm, I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the dog slicer, the pistol, and the uh, and the credits as well. Absolutely, how man. Much, how much was the credit sticks? 50. So I, I feel like moving to do that and then activating that is enough. Yeah. So okay, that I'll, makes sense. I'm cool with that. Sweet. That was that. What was that? A tactical semi-auto pistol? Yes. I got you. Thank you. Absolutely. This goblin dude uh, trying to get away from you is spends his time moving at normal speed so that he can turn back and shoot at you, and it just goes fucking wild off into nowhere land. Well, they're children. You, you almost barely even notice he shot anything at you. They're not good at shooting. Children are not good at that. <laughs> They're not children. <laughs> yeah. Stop They're saving God. children. <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much his turn. He moves a little bit of ways away and... Uh, Glenn. Shoots Superman, at you. Superman, jump over and beat this guy up for me. I, I am still holding <laughs> you are the watching them. down. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you are, you're on top of this other goblin dude uh, watching them speed away. I am going to... I am going to take my pistol and put it to this goblin's head and shoot him. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I I think true. that might be This oh, is why God. triangle face is scary. These are the hard these are the hard decisions, you know. Cuz there are other times where you can take 20 and I know that there's like not a lot of situations where combat do that, but this is goblin with two health. Yeah, no, I would you don't. I don't think you have to roll, friend. I think you just blow this dude's brains out the back of his head if you want to do it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All right, just uh, wow. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here, give me, give me an intelligence check or or whatever the uh, equivalent is. Uh, yeah, just straight up intelligence. Like roll plus your intelligence. That's a natural one. Oh, that's a natural one. You don't think about it at all, and you just go down, and you blow this goblin's brains out, and all of his brains go all, all over the uh, the yarrow berries that you have mm. right underneath you. Mm. This is yarrow berries and goblin brains. Uh, is that everything, friend? I hope this washes off. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, so scrumptious. Shit. <laughs> okay, three. You're chasing this goblin down. I'm. Uh, what can I do? I can't. I can't intimidate him from here, can I? <laughs> you can try. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pull up next to him and grab this small goblin by the by the fucking scruff of the neck and pull him. All right. Give me a. Uh, this is kind of a grapple. Uh, give me uh, a. Uh, give you some gripple grapples. Yeah, yeah. It's a, just a athletics check. Um, a melee attack roll oh. for the most part. I want to try using this other stuff. I don't know how to instigate. Oh fucking Christ! What is that? Eleven plus fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, you grab this little oh, fucker. I grippled him. You gripple grappled him. All right, <laughs> I grab him by the neck and I'm gonna slam his head on the fucking bu- uh, the handlebars. Uh, you do that and. Or your your intention is to hit him on uh, his face on the handlebars, but when you grab him, in the time that it takes you to go back down and slam him down, you're just pretty much slamming his head straight onto a crate while his bike shoots off <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and crashes into the back of uh, another vehicle in Son front of him. Hey, man, these things aren't huge bikes. It really just, just kind the of... the slowest collision ever or what? It, it was the <laughs> least impactful collision. <laughs> it's like if you were driving one of those the like... Walmart uh, scooters? Yes, yes, what? absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> it's not... I'm picturing it's, this high-speed gun No, you with, are. It is... Oh, God. It, it, it's, All right. All right. We're, it's in, funny we're because, in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I get it. No, it's funny because his piloting checks were terrible so that he could get away from you. And yours, were, you didn't worry about it. You just moved through. But you're also not goblin-sized. <laughs> so, <laughs> this, this, this panicked, tiny goblin trying to make it away from this <laughs> large man <laughs> on a tiny goblin scooter. <laughs> I'm fucking keeping the junk bike. I'm fucking keeping it. Just okay. load it onto the crate. Absolutely. Onto the crate. Yeah, you I'll can, get rid of a crate. You can star that in an overhead compartment if okay. you wish. <laughs> Are the berries okay? Uh, yes. Is this yes. goblin dead? Did I you didn't have thing? a giant Vesk man land on top of the berries. Those okay. are fine. All right. So the scooter crashed. And you have the goblin. He is still alive. Just pissing himself? Uh, yes. But considering the situation here, I'm going to say that combat is technically over because this dude's not going to try and fight you. Yeah, I was going to try to talk to it. Yeah, yeah. But 
in the time frame that it took to have this happen after the explosion, the explosion of the the junk bot. Yep. You hear. Um, oh fuck! It's the Barry Police. Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, you hear the city police, uh, Lashinta Police. There, um, you can hear them on their way. Now, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with that. I mean, you guys are obviously not criminals, but you are involved in all this, so um, I'm hold all four arms up <laughs> as the police come. <laughs> I swear, officer, they were robbing us. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Uh, I gotta, I gotta, gotta be able to keep to my it, composure yeah. <laughs> when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> While they're approaching, I am just kind of scooping uh, goblin brain and these and the berries and the yarrow <laughs> berries back into the crates. Okay, yeah, um, just they're not smiling. When away. I say that they were crushed, they weren't crushed. Crushed. Um, they're almost like like one by one or like similar size boxes, and uh, you <laughs> yes, you could be scooping brains and berries back into what. Um, what is left it's like of Ben and Jerry's? <laughs> That's quite Bain's the parfait Bain's. you got there, Glenn the boy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> officers. These guys made quite the mess. Just scooping it into the ground. Um, good thing you were here to stop this beef after it happened. <laughs> God damn it. Am I like separate from all of this? Um, wait, yeah, y- you are technically. Um, oh, I will wait then. Coming up to this, the explosion, the main thing that happened, you see a. Another uh, Lashunta, two of them actually coming out of this single car, and uh, there are two other hover cars, and they their doors open up and they stay trained on the situation, but only two of them are like not actively like aggressive or anything, you know. I'm going to approach them. Okay. With your hands up? No, I put my hands down at this point. Oh. Greetings, officers. My name is Doctor Zemo. Uh, yeah. Let's uh put that pistol away that you got there. Like oh, this. The, yeah. yeah. Took it from the goblin. Yeah, let's just keep that, like, on the ground here for now. Yep, yep. Drop okay, it. thank you. What What happened here? Well, see, there was this um, lady in the middle of the street, my friend Glenn here, the big guy over there. He, uh, he, he wanted to go check it out, and it turns out it was a robot. Well, it blew up, um, along with all those gas cans, and then we turned around and there was goblins stealing our shit. That's pretty much it. Well, you say robot. Um, one of the, the other police officer kind of turns and looks and kneels down and starts kind of picking through pieces uh, and this lifts up a part that is about a third of a junk bot head and then drops it to the ground. Wait, you said goblins? Indeed. Right, okay, yeah. No, that that checks out, sir. And the other guy standing there, he, uh, he holsters his weapon and uh, waves back to the others to uh, kind of stand down and they then he goes into his... Chest pocket and pulls out a pen uh, pad. Going old school, eh? Yeah, I, I like it very much. Um, I'm going to have to actually take statements from you guys. You guys were the only ones here, right? I mean, there's people coming and going. No, I'm, wait, like involved with the situation? Uh, define involved. In direct contact with either robot or goblin. Then yes, that would be the three of, well, there's, there are three of us. I think I've said too much. It's no, me and Glenn. I feel like, no. I said three. All right. Well, there'll be another friend as well, but he chased off one of them bastards. Well, I wouldn't blame him. Um, I feel like he may have got them. Then he hasn't come back. I'm going to have to take s- statements from you two. Any, um... Can you do that while we load the, tr- while we load the ship? We got a lot of, uh, we got a, we have a clock ticking, if you will. While I appreciate your work ethic, I'm going to need you to um, maybe stay here, take these statements while one of my friends goes and finds your friend. If that's at all possible. That sounds fine to me. Hey, Glenn! Glenn! I'm just <laughs> scooping brains and yarrow Still? berries in these crates. Glenn, it's clean enough. On the-, uh, the other dude that was looking at the robots had kind of walked past that kind of direction while this conversation was happening with his pistol. And then while you're saying that, he kind of just puts his pistol down to his side and he just points and then just looks confused. Yeah, he's brutal. Yeah, he, uh, he got his man. Yeah, we're going to need to, he he talks into his, whatever the equivalent of space fucking radios it would be. uh, Pit boy. (laughs) Yeah, a little pit boy. uh, Calls in like a cleanup crew for all this kind of stuff. And um, they take your statements while they wait for three. Uh, Three, what are you doing? Uh, Well, I'm holding the small goblin, right? Yes. 
Uh, you can progress that story as far as you wish back to that point. This, I, Like I said, this dude is not going to try and fucking do anything for no, me. No, I, I, I figure that. Hey, uh, you, you speak common? What do you, what do you speak? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, of course, man. Oh, fucking thank God. 300 years, I haven't learned another language. I'm so happy this is, this is what you speak. Okay, look, uh, I, I'm only one guy. That other bike can still drive. You want to bring back the shit you were trying to steal from me? Uh, please, make this, make this easy. Your friend, I saw what happened to him. Glenn will not be happy. All right, give me an intimidation check. Oh, I know he's not going to try and... Oh, God. If, uh, 11. 11? <laughs> it didn't take much for this boy anyway, friend. It's a DC-10. Literally inside my head, it was DC-10. Oh, perfect. Um, he's, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I can, uh, no, no problem. I can do that. All right. Awesome. Okay. You get on that bike. I'm going to follow you. And uh, if you see yeah, a spear... Shit. Yeah, you yeah. You see a spear sense. laying around, just give her the old scoop. As you go by. <laughs> sure. God, you... Sure, sure, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And, you and know, he, jumps, if... he jumps on the bike and um, kind of just waits for you to be ready before he goes. Perfect. All right. Uh, <laughs> and you guys head back to the scene, and while you guys are giving your statements yeah, if, over the... If you see a spear on the way, make sure you pick it up. I had a... I, I threw it earlier. <laughs> Might have lost it. Yeah, yeah. I heard that part. Yeah, thanks. What's your name, bud? Uh, Sylvester. Oh, Sylvester. Look, <laughs> you're going to be great. Uh, maybe, depending on how bad the other guys are. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that'll be the case. Uh, okay, well, you just stick with me for a little bit. I can't I can't really tell if you're going to be alive in the next <sighs> five minutes, but you just don't run off, because I don't want to kill you now. Maybe we'll hand you off somewhere. I don't well, know. <laughs> while you're having this conversation, you're coming up to... Yeah, we're on the scooters. Yes, <laughs> you're coming up to this while you're uh, while these guys are getting their statements taken, it and wasn't you that guys bad until I shot that goblin in the head. <laughs> and this dude, <laughs> that's true. Uh, oh, that so is that's true. true. You probably don't want to hear that. And then I glare over. At hey, them there's our boy. Oh fuck! It's, it's... he's the uh, silver one, not the uh, child. I well, I don't think that's a ch- uh, anyway. Uh, wait, hey, 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 Steve, come on. Sylvester, just stick stick by me for a second. I'll make sure and you get this, at least uh, a decent decent break. The, this officer with his uh, weapon drawn comes up. Obviously, Steve. I assume that you're three. That would be three. And who is this? This is Sylvester. Yeah. Look, uh, is he part of the situation? Yeah, but uh, cut him a little break. He's he's already right. he's just kind of. It's kind of scary. Yeah, we're going to have to take him into custody. Yeah, but uh, what happens after that? You don't have to tell little, the little guy. It's I don't right. honestly think that's any of your concern, sir. I mean, I could have killed him earlier, or you're going to kill him later. Is that what's going on? We're the police. Different worlds. Okay, well, here, like many other places that have police, we don't kill people. Oh, okay. All Not right. like no, Earth. No, no, you're good. You're good. I was just making sure. Take S- Sylvester. Three three holds out his fist to Sylvester. And he's like, got you a break, bud. See you later. Don't fucking steal my berries. Ah. And uh, he doesn't even get to say a word before he's cuffed. Bye. And um, they eventually want to take your statement as well for this situation. And they say that, if nothing else, they might have to um, require your presence in a for a court date. No. I don't have time for that. Yeah, um, no, that's not. That's not an option. If if we call you, look. How about this? I will send someone like hey, a hey, second hey, but, in but my hey. place. I'm and, trying and, to and, diplomacy and Steve, check. No, Can I do a diplomacy? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's protocol for me to tell you this, but we are fucking swamped. The likelihood that we're gonna follow up on a goblin carjacking is very fucking low. Now, especially since we have them, please. Level with me here. Let's get through this. Your friend said they have places to go. I assume you do too. So do I. Yeah? And he claps you on the back and he starts walking back to the other guys. Ooh, he likes it rough. All right. Uh, Steve, you got everything? He's like, yeah, I think I got everything, sir. Um, we can wrap it up here. He's like, all right. Well, um, I appreciate your guys' cooperation. Not uh, a problem, officer. I'm sorry to have kept you, or rather, I'm sorry they have kept you, indicating at all the fucking madness that has happened. And they send you on your way. Simple as that. All right, boys. Let's uh, get these crates loaded up and get the fuck out of here. 
Are we missing any crates? So there was oh. nine crates on there were the bikes. Eight. Eight crates in total? Yes. Five of them are perfectly fine off of the bikes themselves. And then the other three, one Jesus. Of, one of them was Moon Cabbage. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, two of the other ones were as well. Um, so, I mean, regardless, the, the only unfortunate part is that uh, two of the ones that were crushed on the ground. Oh, wait, wait. The, have two of the other rice. ones that they took were yarrow, or were moon cabbage. The rest of them were yarrow berries. Um, you can tell just by, like, stickers and indication on all the shit. But I want... Okay, Levi, give me a sleight of hand to see if Glenn has what it takes to scoop up... Um, these berries and brains. This will be interesting with my. Uh, It'll be a one to sleight of hand. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a DC twelve. Seventeen. Seventeen. Holy shit, man! Yeah, yeah. You um, these boxes are oozing mm. from multiple red liquids, <laughs> but <laughs> you have three mostly intact boxes of uh, two of them are berries and one of them's cabbage. At the end of that, as you guys roll off uh, in a more meta way, I am going to give you guys, and this is the, the this is the part that I thought was really nice. The space goblins can steal up to nine crates of yarrow berries. For every crate the PCs prevent, award them a hundred experience. Cheers. Right. That's the difference. Literally, that sleight of hand check was the difference between fucking zero and three hundred experience. Uh, that's all separated between the three of you guys, obviously. So, so three hundred total. Three hundred. Total. Oh, or, each. Uh, no, no, uh, 900 total. Oh. 300 apiece. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, right. uh, should ooh. we have 425? Then? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you should. Out of 1,100? 13. 13 for a level? Yep. Shit. All righty. And at the end of all of that madness, we are going to take a quick break. All right, coming back here, you guys are finally just making it up to your ship, the uh, BD-154. And even looking at this now, you can tell, like, you got you got pretty lucky when it came to the people that were helping you load this shit up. Because uh, you got probably, like, not going to lie, with hover bikes and everything involved, like, <laughs> close to 16 hours of legitimate loading between the three of you. We're going to be here a while. Yeah, but you've got four arms. That's only going to make up for a little bit of it because I have a bad back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 15 hours and 30 minutes. Right. <laughs> I'll save about 30 minutes off the whole thing. That's 30 minutes, buddy. <laughs> 30 worry. minutes is 30 minutes. You're not wrong. Don't worry. I'll carry four at a time. No, can I uh, roll to see if I can carry four at a time? I mean, I mean, they're small crates. Do you want to be exhausted very soon? <laughs> You're going to talk yourself out there, big guy. Go for it. Oh. oh. Hmm. Ten. Ten? You rolled a one on the dice. That's a seven. <laughs> oh, is it a seven? Oh, oh, man. Plus my strength Sorry, modifier. That's a ten. At a ten, you're pretty much rocking just normal speed, brother. He's not really making a difference. Yeah, but he, he can he can grab four it. of them, but he's got to walk t- half as fast. <laughs> so oh, got to watch his feet. Seventeen and a half s- speed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How come every time that we load the BD, we are always um, it's like it's the first time. But I mean, honestly, don't, I don't think this is. Yeah, even... don't they have like a crew for this we can hire? Or I feel something? like uh, we. Overlooked where's the this. Where's the beach master? Uh, you guys are the crew that they hired for this. Oh fuck! This is our job, but I feel if, like there should. If this be was some... a totem pole. You'd be near the dirt. Man, I knew I should have kept Sylvester alone. Why did you buy so much? Did you say moon Sylvester cabin? alone? <laughs> 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 Fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Doc? Nothing. Okay. So much moon cabbage. What a waste. It's not a waste. It's for a guy. Well, he's a he's he claims to be a guy, but he's just kind of this weird thing. But I owe him a favor and this is on the way, so how it's for you, him. How did you afford all of this there three? He fronted the money ahead or the credits ahead, you know. And oh. uh yeah, so in order for me to do my like normal cocoon thing and pass on finally 
this is like the last thing I got to take care of. Weird that it's this. You'd think it'd be something a little more uh, no profound. No, uh, you gotta deliver been, some weed. No, I've been around for a long time. I wanted that like the last thing I do to be pretty easy. This is like my retirement. Hey, hey. not nothing like having a good last day before you retire. Yeah, yeah you would. I mean, I, mean, I watched Glenn blow about? a goblin's brains out all over the pavement. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was a good day. And so. then I got into a high speed chase on some old granny mobiles. That you did. And we got to keep two of them. I mean. And we did save the bear. They're a little gooey now, but it's a good day. It smells so, great. It's so like, when you retire, you're going back to Gal Halla, right? Y- yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad that is now canon. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. That, uh, that Gal Halla. You know where we found him. Right, yeah. Please. Just some random uh, asteroid brothel. Mm. Well, it's curious that you guys were over there. I mean, wait, never mind. I mean, not, I'm not a person here. <laughs> we drove past a uh, passing stranger. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's just a dude working at the dock. Like, oh, I do know that guy. <laughs> oh, I've been there once. All right. Well, you know, you know, maybe. Okay. So if there's no one else, we can maybe con into helping us. Uh, we'll just keep going. I Let's guess. Let's just get it done, boys. Hey, hey, if you were, if any. With the story that you've just come up with for your background and the stupid thing that I had said about a guy recognizing you, if you can uh, do a diplomacy check worth fucking worth your weight, then I got this one. Let's talk to him. Go for it. All you guys can try if you want. Eighteen. Thirteen. I have a plus eight. Get it, big daddy. I. You uh, got an eighteen. He's got it. Hey, hey, you don't know but how you much it'll, have you don't know how much it'll help. Oh, two. that's yeah. <laughs> two plus what? <laughs> seven. Okay, seven. It's I mean. So he has a nine. Averaging all this out, weirdly enough, um, the sex bot can't fucking land a game. Nobody already knew you. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be walking by every time that we come through here. It's getting weird. I kind of have an obsession. I'm sorry. I. You work around here? I do. Do you want to work on this? We yeah. could use a hand. Yeah, we, two of them. Actually. You got any buddies? Strong ones. Yeah, I mean, I I could probably call a couple of friends down here. I mean, might be might be down here after work. I uh, wait. You seem like super excited. How old are you, kid? I'm 24. I'm not a child. Well, you sure sound like a geeky. I'm fan. sorry. Okay, yeah, I, okay. I'm sorry. I okay. And if you've been following I, us around, no, no, I haven't. I'm he's sorry. Never seen a companion bot in person. No, I have. That's the issue. Oh yeah, I've you can rent to, them. I know. I've just been to Galhalla. I I'm not. You into, seen his poster on the wall? No, it's just that. Mm. Volcor 316 is a legend. Do you guys understand? Oh just, no, we know. Just we make fun of him about it all the time. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, then here's the deal. We found him in a trash bin. I'm sure my buddies will totally be down with this. Uh, can I get Can I get an autograph for me and my friends? Uh like one apiece. He doesn't sign with that part anymore. Glenn, please, God. Yes, I want a piece. Oh my god! Okay. Wait, how many fucking friends? I mean, you, would it hurt you? <laughs> yeah, want a piece? It's fine. Whatever. Okay, uh, I, I gotta go. Okay, and, and he runs off, and he you you see him kind of like uh, hurriedly whispering into a one of his little pip boys, and about two hours later, you guys are still loading stuff up and whatever, and this was about an hour or so into you guys loading already, so. You had about, if it was just the three of you, about 13 hours left to do this. But then um, you guys come back out of the ship after one haul, and there's another four guys standing there, all early 20s and, like, nervous. Grab boxes, boys. A- and they and they kind of just scatter. Like, one of them, the, the original dude pushes them forward and whatever, and they all, all five of them jump in and go to help. And this actually does only takes, like, till the end of the night. Or not the end of the night, but the end of the afternoon for you guys to get this done. I think three would just be lounging, drinking lemonade at this point. Well, now it's later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for helping, saying. three. <laughs> Gives a thumbs up. <laughs> aren't, aren't you the robot here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure am. <laughs> I, I, I kick one of the legs on his chair. <laughs> Oh god damn it! Give him a attack roll. Fucking <laughs> a. Yeah, yeah. There's mechanics involved in these things, friends. <laughs> I know. Um, sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you shatter the leg of his chair mm. and he hits Fuck. the ground. <laughs> it's a hover chair. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll> hover <around. laughs> 
<laughs> Don't even I, start. I place my four crates on his chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I fall out of the chair. Yeah, all right. After after about another six hours of this stuff, it's late in the night. You guys are all tired. These young men are all tired as well, of course, and uh, they're kind of like sheepishly waiting around to... Uh... All right, you heard him, Doc. Give him, give him your autograph. We oh, no, they want a... Uh... Yeah, no, no, we wanted yours. We brought pictures of you. Pictures of me? Yeah, it looks like they got the DVD copy of V is for Volcor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Kid. <laughs> oh, my God. I see the album cover. Oh, it's so beautiful. Kid, where'd you get that? That's like from my early years. How long's your granddad been a fan? Hey, man, I... I that's like four generations worth. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's probably right. yeah. Thank, th- thank you, right, Tom. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sign them. All right, and they, and they, um, <laughs> they, they, they thank you profusely, and uh, they, they head off while you guys are at the end of the day here packing stuff up, and you guys uh, take off uh, into orbit. Who is piloting this ship? Me. You, sir. Give me a piloting check. Oh, yeah, you did some That's piloting. a dirty 20. Oh, that's beautiful. That was a DC 10. I was supposed to tell you, but I didn't find it. Behind the screen. So after about a... Actually, you know what? Give me a flip of that boy. Rolled standard D2 for you. That's one. Very good. It takes you a full hour to get out of orbit. Longer than a small planet like the one that you're accustomed to is, but to the point where you're comfortable uh, entering drift space. And um, give me a D6 as well. Some space kill. Takes you six days in the drift to get to your next destination. Would you take the long way? You know the drift is random. Seems like you could uh, go for about a week or so and end up... um, the nearest uh, station. Why do we even go through the drift? Well, it's better than traveling for uh, hundreds of years. That's, That's very true. true. I hate light speed. The computer knows. Mm. <laughs> the Thank computer agrees. Knows. We're glad we have this uh, personality module on the ship. I think we should change the uh, add the personality though. Please, Please don't, don't do that. that. Boop boop boop. God damn it! That is beautiful. Oh, that's a great one. Let's leave it on that. Beep boop pop. Oh my god. It'll, It'll take, take you six, 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 six days, days to, to get, get through the, the drift. drift. Back on your way to Akaton. Oh, I don't like this one. I think we should set it to uh, ASMR. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Hello, everybody. Oh my god. Stop. So, bre- so breathy. It's going to take you the better part of a week. Oh, I could sleep to this. To get through the drift. You guys can do whatever you wish. Oh, I think I'm going to do some personal things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. Let's take, take a shower. No. Maybe read a book. Question. Okay. Does it require all four hands? Uh, the shower? I, I use them all. Yes. <laughs> I can always help. Uh, Beep boop pop. All right, everybody. Like I said, it will take you probably about six days to get through the drift on your way to Acton, and you're welcome to do whatever you wish on board. I apologize for the lack of space. Thank you, Shannon. Ooh, Amtrak conductor. I like it. You're welcome. As you need me. And you guys are welcome to do whatever you want in these six days. I'm going to spend six days fucking with this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I've set a bad precedent already. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> I, 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 I accept it. I'm going to be practicing my yo-yos. Your yo-yos? Super <laughs> rare. Oh, fuck. Oh, All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, what check would you do to get proficient in yo-yos here if you're going to do it for six days? Is it some kind of dexterity check? I'm sure. I think raw dex isn't bad. If you can give me, if you can give me a reason for it, I'll let you go acrobatics. If that's better, that's strength. That I don't need that. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Let me see your yo-yos. Uh, Twelve without anything added. Twelve, <laughs> raw twelve is not bad anyway. I mean, I'm not gonna make you a. Ma- <laughs> He's mediocre. I'm not gonna make you a master at yo-yos in six <laughs> days, but. Oh, su- I got cat's cradle down. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to watch this walk in the dog. Mm. <laughs> for, oh, the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> for the dude that doesn't have four arms, you're surprisingly dexterous. Hell yes. With, uh, with a yo-yo. I'm average. 
Glenn. But I'm a big average. <laughs> All right. So he's. <laughs> sure are, buddy. <laughs> I'm just big boned. <laughs> uh, okay. Glenn, Glenn. Oh, God. I got to gain composure here. Uh, Glenn does yo-yoing for six days. Is there anything that you guys want to do? We can skip past this if you want. I want to watch Glenn yo-yo for six days. <laughs> but also <laughs> set up my syringes. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's an easy. And then and that's it. how do we recover stamina and hit points? Those have already happened. They happen. Uh, stamina, you can do it short rest. Okay. Um, but you get. You spend a resolve. To do uh, yeah, you spend a resolve to do it. It's not an issue for you now, but when it comes to hit points, it is so one... your. Um, Fuck, there's something very specific about hit points is that it, sucks for is it, long rests. Is it one-to-one one for stamina points? Well, uh, when, when you do a long rest, you regain all your spell slots, stamina points, resolve points, and one hit point per level. How long is one, a long that's rest? That's it. One hit point per level for long rest. And it's That's like oh. the night. I think three would just spend his time doing old man stuff, like playing chess by himself and... You know, tending his do aloe you, vera plant. That's hey, uh, <laughs> three. Do you need a uh, an opponent? Ooh, I like that. No. I'm quite the accomplished chest man. Yeah, I'll... I'll he doesn't uh, even know how to pronounce it. All right, yeah. we, got, we got six days. I'll, I'll, I'll play against you, one of you guys. Sounds good. <laughs> we'll, uh, opposing we'll intelligence checks. All right. Just straight up raw I'm intelligence. Not, I'm not smart. Yeah, that's the point. Oh, He's gonna, oh, I got a five. You beat a two. I got a five. What is that? Natural 20. You got I got a natural 20. 20. Holy fuck. You, Doc sits down to play chess with you. And doesn't realize the decades that you have put into playing chess by yourself. And it's 3D chess. Yeah, of course. Where they like stab each other brutally and all mm, that shit. Yes. Um, it's Harry. That's my favorite part. <laughs> um, not not for lack of not for lack of knowing on his part, but more so s- surprise in your uh, your uh, agility and wit. You guys play a lot of games and you win a lot of them. Don't feel bad, Doc. I bet you I just Glenn would annihilate me. Hell, it's like playing against the computer. You, <laughs> you can I lose that. every time, just like this. It's a big save. I got you real close, that. but uh, nope, you got me. Well, I'm gonna, turn in. I'm gonna turn in. Good night um, for six days, Doc. <laughs> good night for at least five or four. <laughs> five or four. Went back with it. Oh God. Okay. Can I try yes. to beat him in chess? <laughs> you want to? I'd like to try to beat him in chess. I'll roll against. Yeah, him. go on ahead. He said he'd play against you. <laughs> what do you get? You get a one on the dice. <laughs> is that a one? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. I thought that was a seven. No, what's no. Your, what is it? Uh, Add with your Literally thing. just oh, one? Yeah, it's a two. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's but it's a natural one. one. Oh, my natural God. Natural one. Oh, natural my gosh. one. What are the chances? Oh, my one God. One in 20. <laughs> hey, man. So the pond can't move backwards? Do it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he doesn't even know how to pronounce um, it. Hold on, Glenn. Uh, look, yeah, the the no, king, the... I can't jump my own pawns. Holy fuck. Uh, oh. Doc. That uh, isn't checkers. You want Doc, me to you're sedate up. Him? Doc, you're up. I hate this game. Doc, you're up. And I smashed the <laughs> no, chessboard. No, that's my only board. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get you. He'll have to buy you a new one. Holy fuck, I'm going I to throw, bed, boys. I throw a credit at him. <laughs> a single credit. A single credit. I did pick it, 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 was a, it was a space garage sale. It, it was only oh. half a credit. So <laughs> You space made garages. money. I made money on this one. <laughs> okay. After six days of this insanity. Um, by the way, I, I'll, I'll say that you're, if for any reason in the future... You come up with a reason to play chess with somebody, I'll give you a plus one to that roll. Oh, fuck. I don't give a shit what it is, but that's very cool to me that you just decided that gotta... and then were the best at it. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> that's pretty good. I love that. After six that's days of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good at chess. <laughs> good, good chess, at chess. Man. Good chess man. Oh, man. So after six days of uh, this camaraderie between you guys, you um, pop out of drift space and... Uh, there's Akaton in front of you. You guys have all been here on multiple occasions with and without each other. This is not an uncommon place to be, but it's surprising every time that there's even life here. It's almost like Mars. Like this looks like a dead red planet. Just like my ex. <laughs> uh, home. I feel like this isn't the first time you've used that line. <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> And as soon as you uh, leave drift space, you have a message on your... Um, Tom? Drift space. <laughs> Not Tom. You have a message. And you know you know who it's from. It's um Tom from Drift Space. <laughs> Tom, Tom from I Drift got him. Space. He's wearing jackets. I missed it. I fucking missed it. No, I just realized it like, like it's so fucking perfect. God damn it. You have a message and it's from uh your friend Taraka. 
you know her. She's a like dispatcher for for the Edge Corporation. She's your dispatcher. Well, as the dispatcher. You've all known her um again together and separately. She is very good at her job. Yeah, hey, Tar. Well, that's the other thing is that this is a message from four days ago because oh. drift space doesn't work that way. Well, um, I did dip into the moon cabbage, maybe. <laughs> Don't we, didn't talking, we all? Talking to a voicemail. You're not Can, supposed to touch your own supply. This is my retirement trip, boys. When you open the message, it's obviously her. A Bernari with sleek brown fur shows up on screen. Uh, from what you guys would understand, she looks like an otter. Mm. Literally. Oh, your picture? I was just looking it up. Oh, fuck yeah. Sexy. <laughs> Wearing an olive green flight suit embossed with the Edge Corporation logo and fidgeting with a like worn wrench. You recognize her immediately, of course, and uh, she looks anxious. Her image is barely visible before she blurts out, Howdy, team. I'm just checking in on y'all. If you're receiving this, you must have arrived at Akaton. You drop off site is the hive market. Now, you can't miss that place. Just look for the biggest damn mountain on the entire planet. That'll be Kyle, the pillar of the sky, and hive market around the bottom. There's a business there called Car Imports. Ah, shit, you know tons of this. Just, you know, look for Siski. I know it's been a lot of time, but uh, I don't know how long they've been expecting this. If you get this down on rapid delivery, they might be a bonus in it for you. I've been hearing things anyway. Just be careful on that dust bowl. There's no real law in Akaton, if you don't remember. The desert's no place to go exploring. Anyway, I'm looking for your next job, and uh, I'll send you a transmission when I have something for you. If you haven't heard from me by the time you're done in Akaton, come to Absalom Station. All right. Don't sniff woo, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we'll pick up there. Coming into Akaton next week on the Road Step. <laughs> <laughs> And they thank you profusely. And they, they thank you profusely. Profuse. Profusely. God damn it. God damn it. I'm going to have to. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. God damn it. It's fucking clip show shit now. Full stamp. Full stamp. All day. Okay. They All thank day. you for profusely. Fuck.